I was born in Queens, uh, Jackson Heights, Queens, New York. I have an older sister and an older brother, and we all spoke Chinese only until my sister went to kindergarten. Life isn't always about rules, and people who break rules are successful in their own right because, you know, they're doing things that, that they said it couldn't be done. As supportive and as loving as my parents are, they said that what I'm doing now could not be done. And I can understand that because at the time there really were no Asian people in the entertainment business in America. And that's changing and it's changing slowly, but there has to be someone that starts that. I want to constantly live in that world where you don't limit yourself and you're not afraid and you take risks. I have been working with UNICEF since 2004. I've just always wanted to work with children and I wanted to work with them in a very global way and UNICEF has such a reach. I'm also involved with the, the IGNITE program at BAM, which is a, an arts program for, for kids. I think inspiring children at a very young age is, is incredibly important. When I came to New York, I stayed at the Mandarin Oriental a lot. There was something wonderful about being in the location near Central Park. The view is spectacular, but also what I love is that they have a Chinese breakfast, which is hard to explain to most people. They have kanji, which is sort of this porridge. I find it to be so comforting and delicious, so it's rare to be able to find that on a menu. <laughs> For me, relaxing is really just trying to step away from myself and what I sometimes like to do is do a staycation. You know, go to the spa and order room service, go downstairs, sort of have everything in one place. And I have to say that one of the most luxurious things is to go and stay at the Mandarin Oriental. 